Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contest 286, here comes the second question in the queue which is minimum deletions to make array beautiful. Here in this question we are given an array of integers and we need to identify the minimum number of deletions that are needed such that the array turns beautiful. When can we say an array is beautiful? It has even number of elements. For all those even indexes, the current element and the immediate next element are not equal. For example, 0 and first element should not be equal. Second and third element should not be equal. Fourth and fifth element should not be equal. Also, after the deletion operation, all the elements towards the right are shifted towards left by one unit. So as to fill in the gap that has been created. Without further ado, let's quickly hop onto the presentation that I have created for this. And I'll be walking you through these examples as well as the algorithm to go about it by the PPT. So let's get started. Minimum deletions to make array beautiful, lead code 2216, it's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. The problem lies in understanding the question appropriately and taking hints from it. Towards the end of the solution, you will also agree that the solution was in front of you. It's just that you didn't take appropriate hints from the question. So let's get started. The first and the foremost hit on the question stated that, that the output should have even length of elements. In case the output should have is having odd length of elements, you have to delete one more element out of it. This is the first and the foremost point. Just note it somewhere. I'll talk about it later in the iteration, test case iteration process. For all even indices, nums of i should not be equal to nums of i plus 1. That simply signifies that you cannot have the current element equal to the next immediate element in your beautiful array for all even indexes. This is very important. This also gives you another hint that for all odd indexes, both the conditions can be treated valid. Nums of i is equal equal to nums of i plus 1. Nums of i is not equal to nums of i plus 1. So let just to reiterate, at all even indexes, we can't afford that nums of i is equal to nums of i plus 1. Whenever we see such a case, we have to perform the deletion operation. Now when you are performing the deletion operation, there is an interesting thing that is also happening. So let's take one case when we have 1, 1, 2, 2, something like this. And we have element as 0, 1, 2, 3 as indexes. So you see that the current element happens to be at even index, 0 is an even index and you check the current element is equal to the immediate element to its right. 1 is equal to 1. Uh, the element at the first index is equal to the element at 0th index. What should be done in such a case? It sh the current element should be deleted. When we delete the current element, so what is going to happen? All the elements to the right of it will be shifted by one unit towards left. So as soon as we delete this element, what is going to happen in your input array? These three elements will be shifted towards left by one unit. So once I have deleted this one from my input array, what is the state? The state gets updated to one, two and two. And here the updated indexes for this one turns out to be zero, one and two. Now comes the question, how can we dynamically keep track of the new indexes after the deletion operation? It's simple. Uh, assuming you have uh, made d deletions, the new index for each iteration turns out to be i minus d. So since in this question, in this example, we made one deletion. So this for one index got shifted by one unit. So one minus one is zero. So this was the updated index for my this particular one. For this particular two, the updated index would be i minus d which is 2 minus 1 which is 1 as stated over here. Similarly for this 2 the updated index is again 2 which is 3 minus 1 which is 2. So in order to identify the new index after performing d deletions it will be given by the fact i minus d where d stands for number of deletions that you have made. If you have understood this much you have got the complete algo. How? Let's have a look at it. Here I have taken a slightly different example to what was specified in the question. The elements are 
वन टू डबल थ्री फोर फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन आई एव टेकन अ स्लाइटली लॉन्गर एग्जाम्पल सो दैट यू गेट अ गुड होल्ड ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आफ्टर आई ट्रेटिंग थ्रू दिस एल्गो आई एम प्रीटी श्योर एवरीथिंग विल बी क्रिस्टल क्लियर टू यू गाइज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द करेंट एलिमेंट दैट वी आर हेयर एट इज जीरो इट हैपन्स टू बी इवन इंडेक्स एंड ऑल्सो लेट्स कीप ट्रैक ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ डिलीशन दैट वी हैव मेड सो फार and let's donate it with d and initialize it to 0 so since the current element happens to be 0 which is even in nature what do we do we check whether the element to its immediate right which is at the first index happens to be of equal value no it's not of equal value both of them are unequal in nature that's a happy case it's already beautiful in nature the current element happens to be beautiful in nature we'll proceed ahead without doing any updations over here so the next element that we see happens to be at the first index and the value is 2 since it's odd index we'll simply proceed ahead with the next iteration the next element that we see is at second index the value is 3 and since it's even index what do we need to do we need to check whether the element to its right happens to be of equal value yes it is of equal value then what should we do in such case it it violates the condition of beautiful array as a result of which we have to perform the deletion operation where will we perform the deletion operation we'll simply go ahead and delete this element not actually deleting but in general we are deleting this up since we are deleting this element what we should do we should update the deletion count to 1 now what is the implication of this deletion all the elements would be shifted by one unit so how will we keep track of this deletion we have to update the indices of the subsequent elements that we see towards the right so this index will be updated to 2 so this should be updated to 2 this should be updated to 3 since this element is absolutely gone this should be updated to 4 this should be updated to 5 this should be updated to 6 this should be updated to 7 and in general for the same i that we are iterating use with how can we tr keep track of it the new index will be given by i minus d which is the current ith index minus the number of deletions that we have made so far so let's proceed ahead now uh, the element that we see happens to be at the third index and uh, the value is 3 what will be the actual index in the shifted array it will be 2 and it will be given by i minus d i is 3 d is 1 so i minus 3 turns out to be 2 which is in sync with our expectation it's even in nature again what do we need to do we need to check whether the element towards its immediate right happens to be of same value or not it's not of same value that means we are already beautiful in nature let's proceed ahead next we see is this particular element uh, and it maps to the new index 3 since it's odd we should proceed towards the next element the next element that we see is at fourth index and what is the value here the value here happens to be 4 uh since it's even in nature what we should do we should check what is the value towards its right in, uh, the value happens to be 4 uh value happens to be 5 both of them are unequal in nature since it's they are unequal in nature that means we are in a beautiful state let's proceed ahead next we see is 5 and uh at 5 the element is again 5 since it's odd index we should not do anything and let's proceed towards the right next we see is 6 and at 6 what value do we have we have 6 and uh, it's again even in nature in all such even case we should take check what is the immediate value towards its right the immediate value towards its right happens to be 7 both of them are unequal that means we are in a happy state so what is the updated array after the complete iteration so the updated array is something like this 1 2 3 4 4 5 six, 7 and let's write the indexes as well 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and let's check whether this array is abiding by the rules of the beautiful array we'll highlight the even indexes because odd ones can have any value so i have highlighted those up and here you will see that all the values towards the right of the even indexes are unequal in nature 
वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू टू थ्री इज नॉट इक्वल टू फोर फोर इज नॉट इक्वल टू फाइव एंड सिक्स इज ऑल्सो नॉट इक्वल टू सेवन हाउ एवर दिज अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट्स विच वी हैव एंड टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन विच विच इज द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन योर आउटपुट रिजल्ट शुड बी इवन इन नेचर सो लेट्स चेक दैट टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स दैट वी आर सींग इन आर आउटपुट आर इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट विच इज इवन इन नेचर दैट मीन्स बोथ दीज कंडीशंस आर सेटिस्फाइड एंड दिस आर ए हैपन्स टू बी ब्यूटिफुल इन नेचर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ डिलीशन दैट वी डिड टर्नस आउट टू बी वन दिस इज अ स्मॉल ट्रिक दैट कुड लीड टू इनकरेक्ट रिजल्ट इन दी केस वी हैव ऑड नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन आर आउटपुट रिजल्ट सो लेट्स एज्यूम फॉर अ सेकेंड दैट आफ्टर सेवन वी हैड अनदर एलिमेंट नाइन एट द नाइन्थ इंडेक्स द आउटपुट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल वुड हैव बीन नाइन हेयर फॉलोड बाय नाइन फॉलोड बाय एट हेयर एट द एट एट इंडेक्स वी वुड हैव सीन नाइन एज द वैल्यू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स हेयर टर्नस आउट टू बी नाइन इन नेचर सिंस इट्स ऑड इन नेचर वी हैव टू परफॉर्म अनदर डिलीशन एंड विच एलिमेंट विल बी डिलीट वी विल डिलीट द टर्मिनल एलिमेंट फ्रॉम आर इनपुट आर ए वाई आई एम सेंग दिस बिकॉज ऑड एलिमेंट्स आर सेफ टू डिलीट वी आर नॉट कंसर्न वेदर द वैल्यूज आर इक्वल और अन इक्वल वी कैन सिंपली गो अहेड एंड डिलीट दम एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच वेन एवर यू सी दैट योर आउटपुट इज हैविंग ऑड नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स यू शुड ऑलवेज इंक्रीज योर डिलीशन काउंट बाय वन एज्यूमिंग योर डिलीटिंग द टर्मिनल इंडेक्स ऑनेस्टली द प्रॉब्लम रिड्यूसेस टू कीपिंग ट्रैक ऑफ द न्यू इंडेसेस विच वी आर डूइंग यूजिंग आई माइनस डी फॉर्मूला If you are able to catch this in an interview or during the contest, you have nailed the entire algorithm. So let's quickly hop on to the coding section and conclude this approach. The time complexity here is order of n, since you are iterating through the array only once. So let's get started with the coding part. Here I have created a variable d, which will signify the number of deletions that we have made. I start the iteration from i equals to zero, i is less than n minus one. I go and identify my new index. that would be given by the formula i minus t if my new index is even in nature then only i'll check whether my element at the ith index happens to be equal to i plus 1 index if it is that means i have to delete nums at the ith index and i'll simply increment the d counter by 1 once i'm done with this looping over the entire array i check what is the size of my output array which will be given by n minus t if it is odd in nature then what should i do i should delete the terminal index as a result of which i'll increment the value of d by one more unit otherwise i'll simply return t so let's try this up accepted the time complexity of this approach as i just talked is order of n and the space complexity is constant time this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded Also please feel free to join the Discord server or the Telegram group of Coding Decoded if you have any questions or doubts and in case you are interested in watching the interview experiences and tips of various companies of all those subscribers of Coding Decoded that have nailed Google Facebook Amazon Microsoft Morgan Stanley and plenty more companies this is the playlist for you do give it a shot if you are looking for high dose of motivation in the end i hope you have a great great weekend ahead and stay tuned i'm uploading more solutions of the contest problems thank you